Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video Truda, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Starring Bang Blitzman, our intrepid hero, our mighty Wookiee guardian Zalbar, and like, some other person, I guess. Honestly, Mission's not contributing, like, you know, a huge amount right now. She's very good at picking up mines. I'll give her that, but I feel like she might be, you know, a bit of a, uh, a temporary member of the team. So last time, we decided to, um you know, slightly hand over the cure to the Ragdoll disease to the uh, organized criminal rather than the doctor because I'm determined to resist the draw of the light side, all right? In Star Wars, it's always, oh no, the draw of the dark side. I've got to resist the dark side. No, 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 no. I normally play Bioware RPGs, just Paragon, Paragon, Paragon. But now I've got an incentive to not do that because I want to be shooting lightning out of my guns like a lot of lightning. So I must resist the lure of the light side. I must become evil. Before we do that though, yes, we've probably kept a Basler waiting long enough. So we've got to get into the Black Volcar base, which Mission has helped us do to her credit. So uh, yeah, we can steal like um, an accelerator, a... I can't remember what it was. A part to like a fast car so I can win the big car race in order to win Bastila. Because she's the prize in the big car race or something. So, okay. Up as soon as we go. And we've got to kick off with... Yes! Okay. This is... This is good though. Hang on. There's... Are you guys like... Are you guys friends? Hang on. Just... If I just unpause right now. Okay. Apparently... The Gamorians and, like, the Ragghouls are, like, friends or something. Okay, let's talk all about a thing that John didn't really get wrong, but, like, you know, could be doing better. Which is, uh, I'm not really leaning into, you know, my class particularly effectively. Because one of the big things I've got is, yes, sneak attack. So, every two levels, uh, I've been getting an additional bit of sneak attack. And this is, uh, this is not an insignificant amount of extra damage. And bear in mind, that's going to be presumably one bit of damage on every attack roll. And I'm doing three attack rolls at once with two pistols, where one of them's doing, like, you know, the rapid shot. So, uh, put that together, that's a flip ton of extra damage I'm gathering. And uh, this thing can trigger all the time. It's called sneak attack, but it's not really a sneak attack at all. Sure, it can work as a sneak attack, but it also works if I'm behind the enemy, or they're stunned, or, like, you know, debilitated in any way, pretty much. So... All I need to do is position myself correctly, all right? I'm a rogue. I need to be backstabbing. Right, Zalbar, you just get in there if you'd be so kind. And then Mission, you just get into... Oh, never mind. They are attacking each other. Oh, that's fine then. Uh, sorry. I kind of thought they were allied because they seem to be pretty chill with each other. So, okay. This might not be the best time to do this. Then again, maybe this is the best time to do this. Okay, just get behind the Gamorrean. Now pause. Okay, so this here... This is going to be the perfect situation for me. Mission, you just actually shoot, like, over there or something. Take out that nonsense, all right? Just focus on that if you'd be so kind. I'm going to be getting over here, and now I'm going to start shooting this guy in the back. All right, that's what I want. I want to start shooting him in the back, and there we go, rapid shot. So now I'm behind him. I should be getting a ton of sneak attacks, so go, 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 go. Look at that. Look at that right there. He just melted. He flipping melted. Now we turn our attention over here. And now we just shoot him in the back too. And uh, oh, we're golden. We're just golden. And then he's melted as well. And that's it. The room is clear. Okay, this is what I need to be doing. I need to be getting behind people to shoot them in the back. Like the massive Jedi brave badass that I am. And while we're talking about the things that John didn't really get wrong but could have been making better use of, yes, a thing John didn't even realise was there. Let's talk about feedback. Because I was saying last week, yeah, I need to get used to the fact that I'm not actually, you know, seeing what I'm seeing. What I'm seeing is just for show. What's actually happening is we're playing a game of D&D. Now, unfortunately, the game lets me see behind the curtain. So over here, there's like, you know, the dialogue jibble. But we've got ourselves something else down here. Show feedback. Feedback meaning, yes, give me the information as to what actually just happened here. So, yeah, red seems to mean a thing has happened. And then underneath it, we get ourselves a breakdown of what that actually means, which is really bloody convenient. So let's go breaking this down here. I think this here is the start of the fight. So 
Zalbar runs forward and starts whacking the Rat Ghouls. So he is very, very good indeed at hitting them. Absolutely fine. So main hand 21, roll 9, base 3. He's got dueling. He's got strength modification of 5. He's got the weapon focus. Basically, yes, he's going to do a very, very good job absolutely knackering them, even with a fairly poor roll. So that's all absolutely fine. But let's get over to me. While he was doing that, I was running behind the Gamorrean. So as a result of that, yes, Rapid Shot was used, uh, hit with 29 versus Defense 10. So I easily got the shot in, and that was calculated off, uh, yeah, Tech Breakdown, uh, Main Hand 29. So in my Main Hand, uh, roll a 17, so that was a good roll anyway. Base of 4, Dual Will Penalty minus 4, Small Off Hand bonus 2, Rapid Shot minus 4, but I was really close by, so that's a 10. Dexterity Mod 3, Effect bonus 1, so as a result of that, yeah, 29. So I was easily... Breaking through his defences. Even if I'd rolled like, you know, a 2. I still would have been able to actually hit him. Which is really, really damn good. As long as I was nice and close. So then we get ourselves a damage breakdown 18. So energy 9 plus sneak attack of 9. Oh yeah. Now that. That's the flipping thing. So we were just annihilating him. That's a huge amount of damage. And that, that wasn't even as strong as it actually needed to be. Because... One of my other attacks, I think this is like my, is this my, uh, my rapid shot attack, so my second attack. Yes, rapid shot used, uh, but missed with 13 versus 10, just because I happened to roll a 1. So, uh, had I rolled a 2, I would have still hit him. So, I was doing less damage uh, than I could have done. Because, uh, yes, I already had my, uh, my second shot, though it looks like, actually, uh, the sneak attack might just be uh, for my primary shot. So, uh, the secondary shot coming out of my pistol from Rapid Shot, doesn't gain the benefit, I think. So, meanwhile, I was also attacking... Uh, this is presumably my... Yes, this then is my third attack, simultaneously. My offhand attack. So, uh, what does that actually gain? No, that does gain sneak attack. Maybe this would have got sneak attack, actually. Okay, I'll need to look into this a bit more. But basically, yeah, if I just run behind someone and then start opening up with rapid shot at point-blank range, I annihilate them. And this feedback tool is going to be very useful for me, like, you know, analysing my combat so I understand what's going on. Anyway, everybody just keep on keeping on. Got ourselves corridors. Okay, before we go down corridors, make sure there's not, like, you know, a nice storeroom or anything that might be full of some nice stuff. And there you go, you see. Don't want to miss out on stuff. Uh, mission, this one is all yours. So go here. Grab this lovely mine, which, if I'm understanding this correct, shouldn't be a guaranteed pickup. But, like, she seems to be doing a really good job regardless. So, you know, fair enough. Also, oh, yes, this is very useful. Um, I'd kind of missed this. You can tap Q&A to cycle between everything that, like, you know, you can interact with in the room in range, which is very useful for figuring out what's decoration versus what's actually a container. So that there, that's rather good. So hang on, there is... Oh, some antidotes, very good, though. Where does this come out? I don't know where this comes out. Hang on, maybe put a uh, Zolbar up the ladder first, just in case. Because, yeah, right here, I can't see where I'm supposed to be clicking. So actually, having the, uh, the ladder be accessible that way... Seems to be blocked. Okay, so we're going to need to clear that from the top. Got it. Right, Zalbar, you're leading the charge because you are a mighty, mighty Wookiee. Right, couple more lads just going in over here. Just, wow. Okay, I don't actually need to get behind them because Zalbar's just, oh, we're melting them at this point. And also they're dropping grenades like crazy. That's nothing I need to keep in mind, of course. Literally anyone is sneak attacked all the time if they're like stunned or whatever. So... Uh, I've got a big old pile of uh, concussion grenades, all sorts of grenades, that could be very useful for making people, you know, more susceptible to guns. But no, seriously, let me just, you know, try and figure this out, Tick, because I thought I got this, but, like, what I'm seeing isn't consistent with uh, what I think I ought to be seeing. So if I want to set a basic explosive device, I need to roll a 15. However, if I'm trying to, yes, disarm it, that's plus 5, or recover it, plus 10. So to recover... A basic low-level mine, I should need to roll a 25. And uh, I get to that 25 by doing, yes, my my demolition skill with skill rank plus bonus. Then roll a d20 on top of that. So uh, mission's only got 11. 
That means to get to 25, she ought to need to roll 14. But she's been consistently doing it and not failing, even though based on those numbers, she ought to be like failing two thirds of the time. So why is she so good at recovering mines? Why is she just able to do this every time? Yeah, even the feedback's actually agreeing with me here. So she only just got that one, because she got 31 versus the check of 30, because she rolled 20, like literally as good as it can be, plus demolitions of 11. So if she'd rolled at anything less than 18, she ought to have exploded. I think I might have just been ludicrously lucky so far. Hey, Big Z, don't take this the wrong way, but lately I've noticed you're starting to look a little bit scruffy. <laughs> scruffy? What are you talking about? I hope you aren't suggesting I take a bath. I love Zalbar. He seems to take, you know, suggestions you ought to be engaging in any form of personal hygiene as like some form of personal insult. I love her. I know how well that went over last time, but your hair is getting all tangled. And uh, if you look close, you can see a few gray strands starting to poke through. Mission. Just don't point that out. That's very rude. Zalbar looks fine to me or she's got a point. No, Zalbar, I'm on your side. Don't listen to the kid. All right, you look wonderful. And if I have any opportunity to romance you, I'm going to be doing it. Don't worry, Big Z. It's nothing I can't fix. A little trim, a splash of coloring, and you'll be as good as new. Best looking Wookiee on the planet. Give me a nice suit. You don't trim a Wookiee. You don't color a Wookiee. You don't dress a Wookiee. Yes, he enjoys being naked, Mission. Stop being a monster. It's okay, Zalbar. We'll get rid of her as soon as someone better shows up. And we've also got ourselves a, um, a severed arm. Okay. Synthesized odor. Beck data pads. Okay. So mission item seems to be where, yeah, this sort of thing lives. So, okay. Odor that resembles a favorite prey of rancors. Place the bait properly. We can lure the rancor into eating something lethal. Ooh. Okay. So we've got ourselves a plan. So I'm guessing that means that there's going to be a... Oh. Okay, um, I'm just going to go into solo mode for the time being. Then I'm going to go into, uh, yes, my stealth mode, if, uh, if you'd be so kind. Because I'm going to work under the assumption that just around the corner... Yes, okay, so there's, there's a rancor. Now, I'm not saying we ought to try and kill it, like hand to hand but like if we could that'd be pretty badass though i'm gonna drop a save first obviously all right zalbar you just get in there and just basically whack it with your whacking stick and uh, i'm gonna see just how powerful i can be when i get around the back of things so you just get around over there right so now just just hide around the back over here get around the back over here i mean zalbar's doing okay for now he ain't dead yet at least so now what we do is no 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 i need to be no, never mind, he's dead. Um, and then, then I'm dead. Um, okay, so you avoided that, that's... Okay, let's just go for the feed him a grenade plan. You see this here? This is precisely what I'm good at, damn it. I'm good at sneaking. No, no, no. None of that, he's never going to detect me. Because my stealth is, like, super high. And I've got a special extra good belt and whatnot, though... Uh, yeah, any chance there's anything else in here I can interact with? No, I can't loot these corpses. So, uh, okay. Corpse pile. What we need to do is, yeah, I can take what's there. In fact, oh, the game even gives you frag grenades. So, uh, that might be a suggestion. I'm supposed to, like, you know, uh, potentially be uh, using those. So, John, you could have just left them in there. You could have just left the... Okay, so now I need to put an item in here so just like one grenade there we go one is hopefully going to be fine so i can still make a profit of one and then yes the synthesized odor so put that there as well and okay i assume we're like you know leaving right now yeah can i just can i just close here we go 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 and if you'd like to eat the grenade and then explode and good enough you nice and dead okay i'm gonna be honest i was kind of thinking that was gonna be like you know a boss fight but no it was just a well i say puzzle 
There was a note here saying, hey, put a grenade in its food. So, okay, I'm a little disappointed I didn't get to, you know, fight him as a boss. Then again, I did try. It didn't go desperately well. So, okay, he's, uh, some lock containers. I literally have to bash him open. Well, oh, did you just miss? Did you miss a creature this large? How are you this bad at that? Right, how is he, how is he now? Can we now get to, like, the delicious... Okay, never mind. You know what? Game from 17 years ago, look the other way. Still, I can't see why they assume no one would be coming this way. In fact, you know what? To be honest, I'm kind of surprised there's guards here at all. Like, you know, who's going to be working under the assumption anyone's coming past any of this? But, uh, okay, fair enough. Just start up mission. Okay, just, just open fire. Just take them out. They're basic Volcar guards. We can handle this. Oh, they've got, they've got flipping shields up. Well, unfortunately, shields ain't gonna work particularly well against the Wookiee. So, I'm feeling like, no, I've got the feeling life's not good for you. Ooh, a chewed corpse. Ah! They weren't really guarding this way, were they? You're the guys who toss people into the pit when they're bad. Uh, he wasn't just a pest, he was, uh, he was a pet. They kept him to, yes, just like Jabba the Hutt did, uh, keep a pet rancor just to, you know, toss your enemies into. Uh, Either for sport, for punishment, for intimidation. Yeah, I see where we're going with this. Still, he's dead now, so he can't do it to me, so that's nice. Alright, we are now inside the base. And we have got to go find ourselves uh, the accelerator. The problem is, I've no idea where it is, or like, anything. So, open up the doors. Just start looking around. You know what, Zalbar, you can actually go in... Uh, First, my friends. Nice and peaceful so far. Okay, so we're just going to go room to room and we're going to murder them. Some of these are just going to be storerooms. Uh, maybe with some people inside. Uh, here we go and... Disabled sentry. Aha! This will be where people who are good at repair and whatnot can, you know, just get a little bit of help. So, uh, honestly, I kind of see no reason uh, why not. Unless, hang on, who's good at, uh, who's good at repair? Oh, never mind. Someone, someone showed up. Okay, we'll murder this guy first, then we'll do that. Ah, uh, yes, Zalbar. He was actually good at repair, which is very good, because that covers one of my, uh, my little absences. So, uh, okay. I see no reason why we shouldn't get this guy working again. I believe it's, like, it's cheaper to do so. So, uh, get him working, and then... Uh, yeah, it's, like, uh, three parts, whereas it would have been four, I believe. So, uh, engage patrol mode. That's five. Do I really need to do this? I feel like I don't, to be honest. I feel like I've kind of got the Black Volcar's number. So I'm going to, like, save the parts for where I reckon we're in a more difficult situation. Because uh, I feel like for now, uh, we're a bit, you know, okay. We got their number, though, I'm guessing. Yes, I can no longer teleport back to home. So I'm now actually relying on, like, you know, stims and whatnot. Which is fine. I think we're okay. And, uh, okay, bartender. Well, the bartender can't be that bloody dangerous. Uh, you just start all murdering. We'll just, you know, take out the bartender with a nice power attack at range. You do the same, please. And this should all be fine. So, open fire. Get into... I think I was hidden behind the... Yeah, the Wookiee sort of distracted him. Then we just move over there. This is, this is going fine. I'm taking some very light hits. They're actually pretty good in terms of uh, dexterity. And yes, of course, actually, I can use... Uh, I can use feedback. To figure out, like, uh, who's... John. John, do you see what we're dealing with? Because I can see what we're dealing with. And you're a bit, you know, slow to the party here. Robots. The place is full of robots. So give, yes, an ion blaster to mission. She's going to be way more accurate with that anyway. She likes pistols. So uh, let's give her that. That way she's going to be super good versus the various security bots. Also, I'm starting to feel a bit bad about this, because I've murdered the bartender. I'm now going to start, like, murdering, like, you know, the cook, who's... The cook just tried to punch me, so I just... I just cut his head off. This is... This is all a bit, like, you know, not... not cool in some ways, uh, a feel. But okay, let's sort out, you know, this side of the base, uh, this side of the base first. Security panel! Can I open any of these, by the way? Uh, nope, I can't open any of those crates, so... Uh, you're good at, like, um, wait, who's good at, who's good at hacking? Because I think it might be, it's mission, isn't it? Right, mission. 
Can you get us in here, please? Yes. So, uh, computer slice. So, one spike to get into the system. That's fine. So, right. So, was that a, a waste of spikes? Main terminal. Okay, can I try again? Well, I'm not losing spikes. So, okay, mission, you failed me once again. Let's just keep on keeping on, shall we? And nothing so far. It is, oh, oh, bloody hell, there's... Okay, um, there's there's the sort of turrets that we that we shouldn't be shouldn't be no 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 back back off Okay, don't go into that room. Yes, stay away from there for now. I'm guessing that's where I do need to go eventually, but for the time being, uh yeah, maybe maybe bad decision. Maybe like, you know, go to security office uh first before we try and go through there. That's where they're hiding the accelerator, though. Behind the impenetrable bloody turrets. Right, one more robot needs to go down. But, there is actually over here. Excuse me, where's... Mission, could you please get involved? Because you've got the anti-robot weapon here, and... Never mind, day late and a dollar short. There's a waitress here, who no one seems to be, you know, too keen to murder. Right, any chance you might be willing to, uh, help me out here? Please don't hurt me. I just serve the food here, that's all. I'm not like these others. I'm not even a black Volker. Please don't kill me. Look, I'm very sorry, but, like, the bartender just serves drinks. And the cook, he just cooks the food. And I've murdered both of them, so what makes you think you're so bloody special? Though, uh, okay. To be honest, like, you know, maybe, just maybe, we can get some information out of you first. So, uh, yeah, just a bit of intel. Maybe you can live. So, yeah, two things that might be here. Bastler and the Swoop Engine Accelerator. But I'm guessing Bastler's, like, you know, not here. For the simple reason that, uh, yeah, otherwise I could just, you know, get her now and not bother with the Engine Accelerator. So, uh, may as well get it confirmed. Is she that Republic soldier? I heard one of the Volker mention her, but she's not here. He said Brezhik didn't trust his men around her. I guess she's too important to be a slave here in the kitchens. Getting pawed and groped and kicked and spit on like me. Brezhik must have taken her somewhere safe. Okay, so she's not here. And yes, the, um, the engine. What? I, I have never heard of such a thing. I guess it might be in the garage on the lower level. That's where all the Volkers go to work on their swoop bikes. But I've never been down there. The elevator is protected by a security system. Only the Volkers are allowed to go down there. Okay, I'm very sorry, but I'm happy to do murder if there's puns involved. So as for you, my dear waitress, it looks like your order is up. No, I won't go out like this. Not after all I've been through. I, I won't just let you kill me without a fight. I mean, to be honest, I wasn't really expecting you to. So just like, you know, um, Wookie friend, just like pull her arms off or something, it's fine. Oh, she doesn't even have a gun. So we're just gonna, yeah, there we go. She's, she's dead now. Good. So that was some dark side points. Marvelous. So that leads back to the kitchen, obviously. The chef didn't beg for mercy. He just started fighting, which is impressive. And now we've got, oh, okay, wait. Wait, okay, so everyone's just, uh, everyone's just going in, are they? Right, start getting behind them, and then you start, he turned to face me, well that's just bloody cheating. Okay, I feel like we've got, you know, the gunslinging under control at this point. At this point, oh, we're just, we're just chopping through them, this is lovely. Plus we're getting new energy shields to replace the ones we, uh, lost previously. Okay, armory, this is good. Uh, now my security skill is pretty positive. Yeah. Boom. Job done. Right, now this. This has got to be the good stuff. And... Uh, oh my. Okay, new ion blaster. Together with a heavy blaster and an ion rifle. Alright, not bad. Not bad as a starting point. Together with a good mind a disruptor rifle. And heavy combat suit, vibration cell, mesh underlay. Well, this room was worth robbing. Together with... Oh, there's even more. There's more. Yeah, oh, so many grenades. Including two concussion grenades. The best type of all. Right, mission. Get into the security panel for a single spike. Get me in here. So, security cameras. Uh, access system commands. Yes, yeah, spy ahead. Uh, armory, barracks, rec room. Uh, there's a pool. Okay, garage elevator. Confirm. 
Yes, okay, so we know about that already. So confirm that that's how we get down to uh, the garage. Uh, and I can turn off the... Uh, I mean, I've got to. That's got to be the right way to go. Yes, turn off the security system. So sort that out. Those turrets have now been deactivated. Marvelous. Well done. And there's also a control room right here. So I might have been able to, yes, do this for, for free there. But what can you do? And somewhere, they've got a flipping swimming pool, which is... Uh, okay, this is a fancy gang hideout. I'd join a gang if it came with a swimming pool. And yeah, we can also open all doors, so that'll be access to the armory and gain a map. But I feel like we don't need that. Let's save for the spikes instead. Log out. Okay, good work there, mission. Well done. Meanwhile, Bang Blitzman can just, yeah, she can hack all these doors. And there we go. There's the guy we were just seeing. So this here is the, um, the command room. And, oh, he's... He surrendered. Please don't kill me. I'm not like the others. I'm not like Bredjik and his Volkers. Oh, but you are my good sir. Give me two seconds and a blaster pistol. You are all going to be equally dead. But go on. Give me the information at least. What makes you think I'd possibly spare you? All right, I'm a Volker. I was here before Bredjik took over. I was a Volker back when it meant something when we had honor. You say this, but you've rolled over, you've worked for him, and you just came at me with a sword before you realised you were outmatched. So, uh, yeah, he doesn't like the fact we're now uh, violent thugs, uh, bloodthirsty punks. Okay, so the original Volcars are second-class citizens. So you're basically going to offer to uh, put the gang back on a good footing, I'm assuming. Look, I want information, and I also want a really damn good proposition if you want to live. Because you're begging for your life. Which makes me think I can gain some dark side points by murdering you. Yeah, first up, Bastila. Nope, he doesn't know. Bloody useless. And he can't even give me a pass card that would let me skip the flipping, uh... Yeah, using the spikes to turn off the security system. Okay, you sir, you are useless. Goodbye. Right, so just shoot him at point blank range and down he goes. I love just blasting people. Blasting people's great fun. By the way, I'm gonna be having your stuff too. Oh, even more grenades. We are swimming in grenades right now. If anyone starts getting like, you know, nasty or whatever, we are gonna have uh, so many grenades uh, to toss at them. It's gonna be marvelous. Okay, I think we finished off the uh, the last them round here, but most importantly, we've got ourselves uh, the pool droid. Right, would you like to be part of my party? Cause uh, I'm kind of looking for, you know, a replacement for uh, for mission right now. So, uh, pool droid, uh, me and you, we can be friends. And uh, activate the droid. So I can use him to uh, fix the fix the swimming pool. Okay, mission. This feels like, you know, something for, for you to do, given that whole business. So, uh, all right, mission. No, hang on. No, repair. Wait, is this repair or is this hacking? No, this is repair. So, all right, uh, Wookie, you do it. So fix him. And now uh, crawl into the pool and self-destruct. Why do I want him to crawl into the pool and self- Oh, is this how you, like, you know, keep stuff safe? You converted this pool into, like, is that, like, gas or something? Okay, just in case it is, mission, you're the one who's going in. So just go in. Yes! Okay. So, uh, I thought it might... Everyone else came in, too! There were gas mines or something, weren't there? Okay, just very quickly... Oh, plasma grenades! Oh, my, and a hair trigger. And a bonding alloy. Right, grab those. Okay, so mission's now, like, dead. But that's fine. Um, should be back up in a second. Uh, then just straight through here. Okay, so we could have sorted that out. But that's fine. Mission's not really, like, you know, important or anything. Like, if there's no one around, you may as well just, you know, suicide one of your team members into traps. If you don't actually, you know, have the ability to pick them up. Because uh, why not? They just pop straight back up again. So just one quick stim. And actually, you guys are... You guys are ready for a level up. Love it. Nothing too dramatic, just skills on this occasion. So uh, keep your demolitions moving in the right direction, please. Yep, just max out what you're good at. Then again, I could make you better at computer usage. That takes two as well. But then that is... Oh, that's already capped at four. Okay, fine. Treat injury it is. And she also gains bonus defense off improved scoundrels. Luck as she hits level six. Lovely. Right, you also need to level up. Now that's way more interesting. 
Okay, no, it's not, because it's skills. Still, let's just get your repair up to as high as it goes. Lovely, nine. And to be honest, I'm not really planning for, yeah, a mission to be, like, around for too much longer. You being good at demolitions, too, would not be the worst thing in the world. Then again, you're also on the front line, so... Yeah, let's keep repair at eight and treat injury up to seven. Because uh, you are going to be engaging in, you know, all the sword fights for us, so fair enough. Bit of a boring level, level six, nothing really coming out of that at all. Also, I think leveling up might top up your, your health, because I swear these people were not that healthy a second ago. Ooh, and there's a door to the, the lower city here. Okay, hang on, where does that come out? Oh, wait, I know exactly where that comes out. Yes, that's going to be right by where you first come in. Okay, this is the Skyrim door. Don't worry about that. Everything's fine. I think I saw another... Yes, I saw a robot over here. So how about we just go and whack him with a stick? Right, now we're just looping back around to where we started because the map's already uh, filled up. So we should be golden. So yes, now at this point, the security system has been taken care of. Like, you know, hopefully. So now, when we go through here... Are we good? Well, I'm not being shot. So, okay, when you see turrets, they're basically unstoppable do not pass this point machines. Never take on turrets. So, can still get down to the uh, the next level. Lovely. And uh, oh my. Okay, this isn't a second part of the, the dungeon by the looks of it. It's like... It's just a big area. Okay, so... Uh, there's droids. We could fix them. Do we need to fix them? There's also another one right here. Could fix him too. Right, what's in here that I can interact with? So there's those droids. Uh, there's my team members. Uh, just that. Okay, so... Uh, where's what I'm uh, what I'm looking for? And there's also... Ooh, the garage head. Okay, so there are some people down over here. May as well go and, like, you know, murder them while we're just uh, doing our own business. Get down over there. Get behind him. Oh, there's quite a few of them, actually. Okay, just provide supporting fire, and you're going to be going down and... Mission, where the flip are you going? Okay, now they seem to be targeting people who aren't me. That means I can get around the back of them and start getting some crits in the back. Oh, look at them crits in the back. That was 18 and 16. Not bad. Not bad at all. So that was my attack plus the bonus off, uh, off sneak attack. And there's no one there. I just enjoy posing some a badass. Now, the garage head. Did he have... Uh, he had a heavy combat suit. Oh, yes, I picked up a whole bunch of stuff in the armor. I just sort of uh, forgot about it, actually. Right, just make sure we've uh, cleared out this area first. Handful of little basic robots, but nothing like uh, dramatic. But I'm guessing it's going to be, you know, at the end of the dungeon. Anything in here we can do anything with? Nope. Literally nothing but trash, but locked door. That's got to be good news. And... Okay, this is one of those... Oh... I've got a bad feeling that a boss is going to be walking into this room. I'm getting, like, you know, boss room vibes. Especially as there are, yes, several, several flipping uh, robots around that I could theoretically call up for, for help. And, uh, yeah, just, you know, very relaxing. Just take them out, etc, etc. Get around the back of you and then just start murdering you. Once around the back of you, oh, yeah, then they just melt. Okay, minor gas mine. Another way to get down. Mission will be taking care of that in a second. Okay. I'm feeling like I want to invest a bit in, like, you know, getting these guys up and running. All right. I just want the droids active. So if something bad goes on in here, then I've got some backup. All right. Then door weaponry. And also to ram the loading bay doors. Okay, yeah, do it. Let's get past the loading bay, sure. So, okay. What does that mean? Like, you're literally just going to run into it. Um. Okay, well, that's one way to solve what theoretically might have been a puzzle, I suppose. I'm guessing this is actually a shortcut in that case. So, just uh, get around the back over here. And there's just a patrol droid who's... Oh! Um. He appears to have... An ice ray. This is... This was unexpected. Okay, so he's freezing my Wookiee right now. But that's all absolutely fine. Get around the back of him. 
And now just start... Um, excuse me, we're not doing... We're not doing very much, Tim. Okay, this is... I'm not sure I've got 100% boss vibes here, but this is feeling a little bit bossy. Um, I'm really struggling to hit him, but... Oh, he's... Okay. Right, watch out for... Watch out for some of these robots. They ain't kidding, and... You didn't actually faint, even though you were frozen, which is... I mean, well done. Well flipping done. You deserve a little medal. Alright. Wookiees aren't owed medals historically anyway, so this is all fine. And now you've got Treat Injury up if I use one advanced stim pack. To be honest, yeah, I'm swimming in so many normal med packs. That's absolutely fine. And, oh, more importantly, I'm ready to level up. Okay, now I'm going up to level 7, aren't I? Because if I'm going up to level 7, then I'm rather excited. And yes, I know I'm probably giving up Jedi something, something, something. But I'm kind of feeling like actually my scoundrel build is uh, it's going to work. Because if I hit level 7 right now, then sure I'm only getting some skills, absolutely fine, and not many, to be honest. Just keep Persuade uh, moving up, and then keep Security uh, moving up, and then uh, what should I do next? Stealth? Maybe move Stealth up? No, I feel like I should be able to... Yeah, move Stealth up to maximum, sure, why not? But I believe I'm about to get Stealth Attack 4 every two levels. So, now I'm gaining even more bonus damage, and there's nothing more here. Okay, maybe this was like a little bonus room, hence why I've got 10 million plasma grenades, because, uh, oh, they sound good. Alright, bit of healing, and then Sir Wookieson is going to be uh, heading down and down and further down. Uh, we just need to find, you know, uh, this lovely accelerator. Just a few more people need to be uh, murdered, as it turns out. Oh, yeah, just, just a handful of them. Nothing dramatic here. Because at this point, when I start... Oh. Oh, yeah. Now we're shooting them in the back. See, one of my shots there was damage 23. So, the energy was only 5. Because my guns are only doing between, like, you know, 2 and 7. Or was it, like, 3 and 8? About there, anyway. But then I'm getting, like, you know, an extra 18 damage of shooting them in the back. This is, this is a huge increase in damage. This is wonderful. And, yeah, on average, it's now going to be an extra... An extra 14 damage per attack roll. That's... That's a lot. This is worth leveling up a scoundrel for. And in the garage head desk, we got ourselves, yeah, a couple of cards. Uh, improved energy cell. I'm guessing that's an upgrade thing. And a uh, key card. Okay, I'm guessing... Excuse me, just help myself to your stuff as well. But in just a moment, I'm guessing uh, that key card might just let me... Uh, computer slice... Well, I've got a key card, but okay, uh, mission, if you wouldn't mind. Okay, so I can see what we got coming up at the end there. There's going to be four people in a lap. I'm guessing that that over there at the back right is going to be what I want hidden behind a mine I can already detect. Because there's only four cameras and I've already been in the loading bay, the garage office and the garage. So as a result of that, yeah, hang on, can I see? I could see myself. That's lovely. And once again, I can open the doors, but given my security's already so high, I do not need to save the spikes, even though we've got 10 million of them for now. In which case, yeah, we just need to go the other way, past where those, uh, those gas mines were, down to the right from where I am now. And that should be the final room, and then I should be able to just escape, and life is gonna be good. In fact, yeah, there it is. I recognize the lab, so it is through this door. That's the final room, so let's not rush to that, all right? Let's just see what else we got before we go in there. Let's make sure there's no reinforcements coming in. We've seen all the other loot. We can see, aha, there's someone over here who is... Uh, you, my friend, uh, might be willing to play ball. All right, would you like to not die? No, you'd like to die. Fair enough, I guess I'll shoot you in the face then. I mean, I'm rather liking the fact that at this point, I'm actually the damage dealer. I'm a bit of a glass cannon. I always enjoy playing a bit of a glass cannon. So I need somebody else to tank, draw the attention. Then I just run round the back. And then all of a sudden, I'm just, you know, uh, murdering them, which is beautiful. But like, I don't think anyone on my team can possibly do as much burst damage as me, which is, uh, oh, that's just lovely. I love it. And we got one more round the side over here. And I'm guessing you just need to go down nice and fast too. You're dead. Back off. We got ourselves another gang member. And then just open fire. Um, 
Okay, I decided to just, you know, show my back to him. Just to prove how fearless I was. Yes, let's say that was intentional. Ooh, workbench. Okay, we might be able to do a bit of upgrading before we even flipping make it into that. Okay, I don't like being inside Zalbar's face though. That's, that's weird. I don't appreciate that. Because yes, as I understand it, different upgrades, I think I saw this in the comments, different upgrades don't do the same thing to each weapon. Sometimes they do like, you know, uh, different things. So uh, the bowcaster, yeah, hang on, if I put a scope on that, that gets me, uh, that gets bonus damage. Okay, bonus damage uh, right there, I think, anyway, damage. Yes, damage energy. Whereas on uh, the pistol, it gives you bonus chance to hit. So, uh, yeah, it kind of varies, thing to thing. So I could make this thing uh, way stronger, because now I've got, hang on, what does that do? Okay, the beam splitter, attack modifier, we've got everything here. And then, ooh, hair trigger. Okay, this is interesting. This is very interesting, because, okay, up to this point, I've been saying, well, sniper shot is garbage, obviously don't use that, but if sniper shot starts, like, you know, uh, multiplying the range of a crit. If the starting range is 17 to 20, and then we can double that down to like, you know, 13 or triple it down to, oh, this is, that's going to be interesting. But let's actually go over to uh, Karth's Blaster, because uh, what's this thing going to do? So, okay, improved energy cell uh, makes it stronger in terms of minimum and maximum, so that's really good. And then this thing is... Uh, even better, that's just straight up, yeah, more damage again. And then we've just got... Okay, um... This thing doesn't seem to be doing anything. So attack modifier plus one... Attack modifier plus two. Okay, so on Karth's pistol, that makes me more likely to hit. So, as I can't actually, you know, adjust the other weapon I've got, only some weapons can be improved... Uh, Honestly, I see no reason why I wouldn't just shove everything on this thing. So that's that's pretty good. And I can also use one other thing I found to, uh, yes, make this armor give me immunity to mind-affecting stuff, which, I mean, does that mean dexterity or does that mean intelligence? Because it could mean both. You know what? Why not? I'll plug it onto my armor. Everything is fine. But I now want to swap my weapons round uh, because, yeah, because this is now 4 to 9 instead of 2 to 9, uh, that's now the better weapon. So let's just uh, swap those around nice and fast. So yes, 4 to 9 with plus 8, 2 to 9 with plus 6. Oh, that'll, that'll flip and do the job. And then finally put mission back over to the bowcaster with my spare scope slapped onto that. So as a result of that, that's now doing 10 to 11, which is pretty darn good. So okay, I'm glad we came down here because now, now we're way stronger going into that final room, and oh my goodness, we are going to destroy those stupid losers. Okay, is everybody ready to go? Because what I need is Zalbar right at the front, just, you know, drawing the attention, roaring, pulling arms out of sockets, etc, etc, while me and Mission get round the back and start just slapping them around a bit with the sneak attack. So go, and... Okay, we have visitors, lackeys, oh dear. Okay, Potentially, I might be able to tell these guys to just wander off because it's not going to work out well for them. Ah, but these guys might be willing to cut me in on some form of deal. They've recognised we're not hidden backs based on the uniform, so uh, yes indeed. Uh, my name's Bang Blitzman. What are you proposing? Because I kind of but notice you haven't tried to shoot me yet. So instead of stealing the prototype for the backs, why don't you come work for us? Uh, the Black Volcars uh, could use someone like you. I don't trust these guys. I know that's evil, but tell me what the offer is at the bare minimum. What? You can't betray Gadden. I won't let you. Ooh, right. Mission's not, uh, not happy. So, uh, yes, indeed. Oh, oh, now they're tossing in the insults. Gadden only kept you around so they could laugh at your furry friend. Oh, it's getting personal now. No, that that's not true. You're lying. Am I? How long have you known Gadden? How long have you worked for him? Oh, this guy is going full on seducing us to the dark sides. You're right. I don't need anyone but Zalbar. If Gadden dies, he's only getting what's coming to him. Okay, you 
You flippin' went over to that nice and fast. Okay, so mission's happy for Garen to potentially die. Do I want Garen to die? I mean, like, you know, I'm evil. But I don't really want society to completely fall apart. And I feel like the Black Vault cars are... Okay. Tell me the offer at the bare minimum. And okay, Bredrick's grown tired of the war. He just needs someone to kill Garen permanently. Okay, well, yes, that is how killing works. Then again, I just did certain kill into that sentence. Sorry, I'm going a bit dark side myself. Okay, 500 credits, and uh, we also get ourselves a uh, Bastila. Okay, this is... Hmm. I'm not sure you're in a position to uh, make that offer. Because, uh, to be honest, like, yeah, she was the prize in the big swoop race. She's important for bringing the smaller gangs into line. I think this might be a trick. So I can't just give the girl to you, uh, not after he's actually offered her up, so uh, we can do the next best thing. Ooh, are you going to offer to sponsor me as your rider? Yeah, thought so. Whoever wins the race gets the girl. We'll give you 500 credits and you get to be the Volcar rider. Okay, so we get the accelerator. We still get Bastila. We gain the 500. And I have to kill Gadon. I mean, I've only really just met Gadden. Like, I was about to say, there are some Volcars who, you know, believe in honour and whatever. But I did just kill the Volcar who believed in honour and whatever. So, yeah, I'm just backing. Oh, this is... I mean, there were a lot of people inside that, that base. Missions on board. And Zalbar will do whatever I say because of the life debt, so... I mean... Oh, this is... I don't want to, but, like, I've not got any loyalty to Gadden, like, at all. Screw it! Do it! Yeah, I'll kill Gadden for you. I mean, you guys are just going to have trash on you. He might have some good stuff on him. It's going to be great. So there we go. You might need these for the mission. Ooh. Okay. So now we can get into the private chambers in the back base. I've already... In fact, you know what? It's fine. Because I've already killed 90% of all the Black Volcars in the world. Like, their gang at this point is this guy and his, like, two friends in the background. So... I feel like, you know what, what we're going to do is, this is good. We're going to clear out all the gangs. Every gang is going to be gone. It's going to be marvellous. So, okay. Volcars don't consider me a friend until Gadden's dead. I can get into his bedroom, just murder him while he sleeps. I mean, they knew I was a scoundrel, all right? They hired a scoundrel. They knew this was a possibility. What we've done is we have murdered literally every black Volcar We've come across, alright? We've taken out their heavies, we've taken out the bosses in all of the apartments, we've cleaned out the base, we've killed their mechanics, we've killed- We've killed their waitress, for goodness sake, and their chef and their bartender and all their robots. They've got no power. They've got no power at all. All we're doing right now is we're cleaning house, alright? The gangs down here, they're bad. All of them. So I'm gonna kill all of them, alright? Not just the men, but the women and the waitresses, alright? They're all flipping animals, and I'm going to slaughter them like animals. How do you do, fellow Hidden Beck? Just going in to see Gadden and give him an update on my very important mission. There we go. Just walk straight past. No trouble there. Now, we might need to um kill some of these people on the, uh, on the way out, admittedly. But we saw these guys losing to the Volcars uh, in a fight. Like, in fact, you know what? They were going to lose anyway. Even if, like, you know, I helped them out, it wasn't going to make a difference. Even if I won the race, they were clearly losing the turf war on the ground. So, like, they were going to lose regardless. I may as well make a profit if they're going to lose anyway. Right, hidden back guard, which is a little bit concerning. Oh, security breach. Okay. Um... Right, so now we need to start taking out a handful of a handful of people. So just take him out. Is anyone else anyone else annoyed, by the way? Just get around the corner so they can't like see what's going on. Are we good? 
We golden? I think we're fine. Right, uh, mission. Before they show up and, like, you know, the bloody Wookiee runs into the... Mission. 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 There's a... There you go. Get the mine, please. I mean, this is good. Because this is all stuff I presumably wouldn't have got because this was the private backstage area. But now, now I get to loot the Volcar base and this base. Alright, I get two bases for the price of one. So, uh... The only question is, yeah, that's presumably back into uh, the front room. Bad call. And this is going to lead into the... Okay, there's there's a couple of guards uh, dotted about here. Not the worst thing in the world, really. Just start, like, you know, shooting them, taking them out, and... He was weirdly resistant to being shot. He must have had good dexterity. Right, just get up to them. How many more are there? Okay, there's there's only these people. Get around the back of you. Hi, don't mind me. Just getting up the back of you. Is this, like, at the back enough? Darn it, he turned to face me. Still, that means the, uh, the Wookiee can take him. Okay, we golden? Yep, I think we're golden. No, don't go any further yet. We need to loot the corpses. And then, yeah, this is gonna lead back into the, uh, the bar. So, do we want to go in there, or is that maybe a bit on the, uh, the dangerous side? Because that's kind of linked to, you know, uh, the main room that all of them are in. Then again, we have to come back out sooner or later. Okay, let's go and have a chat to watch his face. I assume he's like, you know, in his private room upstairs. All right, so uh, up we go. Who are you? You can't come in here. Sound the alarm, Gadden. Relax, Kira. This is an ally, not an enemy. She's promised to help get our prototype accelerator back from the Volkers. You're too trusting, Gadden. These must be the assassins Brezhik sent. How else did they get in here? And... Uh, Okay, yes, the guards recognised me, which I'm going to say while waving my hand. But don't worry, all right? It's not a Jedi mind trick. I'm just doing the Taris Toot Toot Tango. I'm very good at it. So let's see if we can get away with this. Liar. The guards would have announced you. Gadon, we've been betrayed again. We're under attack. Guards, guards! Okay, that was a very unconvincing rendition of guards, guards. But what can you do, eh? Right, uh, so you've all got, like, uh, swords or whatever. Yeah, just start, like, murdering him. It's fine, everything's under control. Uh, mission, you can just shoot this person in the back, if you'd be so kind. And I'll try and get behind her, if at all possible. Yes, there's some dark... No, no, move! Move, get out of the way. Right, now, now shoot her. And... Oh, she's facing me! Okay, mission, mission. Oh, someone's been stunned. Oh, this is... Okay, I think Gadden's dead. Um, just shoot her, please. And down she goes. Okay, mission got herself stunned. I was shot a bit. Okay, so uh, some of the tougher fights are still a bit on the tougher side. Still, sort of worked. So, this guy's dead. We've also got... There we go. Now I've got a double blade. Ooh. And a light scan visor. Okay, maybe that's how she saw through my lies. Okay, together with a power belt, memory package, energy shields, light battle armor, you see this. This is the good stuff right here. Now I've got 10 million things. And also I'll be just packing your box too. Together with 300 credits. And I got 500 for doing the job. They're going to betray me, aren't they? They're 100% going to betray me the moment I get back. All right, back downstairs. No one's, uh, no one's uh, ambushed me yet. So, okay, let's go through the bar. That way we can start picking them off bit by bit. Though, hang on, before we do that, check the new stuff we've got, all right? And that light scan visor is... Okay, makes awareness be up by four. Which, to be honest, doesn't seem that good. I'd rather have, yeah, will saves up. Because uh, at least that does something in combat. My awareness is plenty good enough already. And I could have a memory package, except I can't because I've never taken the feet to be able to have them installed. But you could have that. Okay, so, right, we're just going to plug this into your head now. It's going to make you a bit smarter, which is great. In it goes, love it. And how do we feel about that double blade? So right now I'm doing, yeah, 10 to 19 plus 14 chance to hit. This is, ooh. Okay. 7 to 21 plus 6 chance to hit. Okay, so the problem is, yeah, the damage range goes down a bit. Like, on average, it's not doing 
any more damage. In fact, it's doing less, because the upper range is only plus two, but the lower range is minus three, and the chance hit is way lower. Unless there's, like, some other good thing, like, you know, a reason to use it. Honestly, yeah, I feel like we're just going to stick with the upgraded uh, basic prototype. That seemed to be doing the job fine. All right, so now we have to fight our way out. Or do we? Yes, we have to fight our way out. Okay, so now they're they're all kind of they're all kind of here. That's fine. Just like start, you know, murdering them. Um, uh, maybe you want to go over to. Then again, most of these guys are melee. I think there's only one guy with pistols at the back. So, uh, you just do your own thing, mission. I'm just gonna take you know, uh, bang blitzman on a bit of an adventure if we can. So, oh, excuse the flip out of me. Right, I just need to take out you. And then, oh, more of them are coming. That's kind of okay, to be honest. I think I'm just winning anyway. Yeah, I think we're doing just fine. And now, uh, how many more of them are left? Because there were, there were several here last time. Oh, they're all in a big group. Okay, so uh, prepare the flipping. Then again, hang on. Activate energy shields on the Wookiee. Okay, charge. Just get over there and, yeah, just wail on their leader. It's very important she dies. Mission, you just do your own thing. And then, uh, yeah, uh, bang. You just need to be got into... Okay, you're just not going to get involved, are you? Okay, this is all fine. Get over here. And now start just taking them out. And dead. And then, as long as you stay alive, Mr. Wookiee. And then just... Anytime you're ready, dead. And then you're just going to be dead too. I'm just going around finishing them off. Like, I'm actually the one getting the kills here. I'm just finishing them off one by one. Now we get around the back of you. Now you're going to die as well. I'm just literally circling around them. Murdering them. One by bloody hell. I'm actually doing an insane amount of damage right now. Like, the Wookiee's just tanking for me. Wow. That, that worked really well. And I can't even shoot lightning out of my gun yet. Okay, we've got more modifiers and military suits and whatnot. So just help ourselves to uh, all of this. And we're getting new belts in as well. So yeah, the Wookiee can now have fortitude plus three rather than plus two. So the fortitude saves, lovely. In fact, now everyone's dead. Could we like just go for a bit of a free health top up? Like back home? No, we can't though. Oh, there's probably still one outside, isn't there? I'm guessing you need to be killed. Yes, I thought so. Just like, you know, hit her. There we go. She's now, she's now nice and dead. Good, 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 good. So, they're all dead. I finished off the, um, the hidden bags. Now I should be able to go home. And I also just saw, hang on, I've got myself a power belt. Yes, let's get strength up, all right? Keep the Wookiee strength moving in the right direction. Oh, hang on, we got ourselves, uh, We've got an event. I was just going to nip back over here. I was just checking all the, you know, shops and whatever. Doing a little uh, whip round, make sure I hadn't missed anything. But we got... We've got an Athorian. I've always liked the Athorians. They're cool. I love the design. So, uh, I am injured and in need of assistance. These human children keep hitting and kicking me. Not cool. I like Athorians. And, like, in the Clone Wars miniseries thing, they can do this really cool thing where they, like, roared. But it was like a force roar. It was the best thing. Why do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. Zalbar, rip their arms off, alright? Get out of here or you're going to be the ones in pain. Oh, run for it! Don't let them get away, Zalbar. Tear them limb from limb. So at the bare minimum, I did it in such a dickish way, I'm not hurting my, you know, attempt to resist the call of the light. So that's good. Speaking of which, Largo, you've got a price on your head, my friends. So just a few bullets in him. There's some dark side points gained and he actually took up. He took a round. Okay, I didn't get the kill. That was Mission. Mission was the one who just murdered him. All right. And also, there we go. 50 credits and an energy projector. I'm guessing he would have given me that if I'd given him the 200. But that's fine. In the end, we got it anyway. So, you know what? Win-win. Unless you're like, you know, him. And don't worry, Matrick. I didn't forget about you either. So, just a few bullets for him. And oh my goodness, he's... Okay, he's a bit... Never mind, the Wookiee just uh, tore his limbs off. Good, 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 good. Now I can have your stuff too, because you weren't keen on me, like, you know, being in your room. Mesh underlay, so we got some good stuff there. Your stuff there too. Okay, that's two bounties we can claim. Love it. Okay, 300 credits for Matrick, but maybe we can get 400 too. 
Yep, 400. Love it. And then there's one more I need something on to. Largo. This one's going to be not much. So, that was the same as the traitor who almost brought down Davik and threatened the exchange. Okay, that's, that's a bit peculiar. But I want 400 for that one as well. And boom. Love it. So, there's another 800 right there. Oh, I am just swimming in it right now. Right, time to head back just in time to be betrayed by the Volcars, because they're not holding up their end of the deal. Given they only got mission on board by, you know, lying to her about how they were laughing at her behind her back. And she was really happy to murder them based on, you know, a rumour that they were being mean. She was ready to open fire, alright? That was just the straw that broke the camel's back. Oh, here he comes. Here comes the betrayal. And uh, I've heard the news. Uh, he's dead. Uh, Bredchik himself would be here, but he's too busy. Oh, yeah, he's planning to betray me. So we got the 500 credits. Great. And I get to ride for the Black Vault cars. I don't know how to ride. So, uh, I mean, I'm sure it's going to be fine. But yes, why do I get the feeling there's, you know, a missing piece of the puzzle here? So there is one small thing. It isn't exactly... Oh, good, it's not stable yet. It might explode. Good, 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 good. I might explode, which means I will explode because you don't want witnesses to, you know, the fact that he had the other gang boss eliminated. Okay, it's going to explode and it's going to be an assassination attempt. Good, 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 good. And apparently we spend the night here, right in the base. So, okay, I'm now in the swoop racing pits. So only the racers and mechanics are allowed to be here. So I don't have a team with me. Oh, if I get ambushed, that's a problem because I kind of need somebody to like, you know, be the person who hangs around and lets me... Oh, here comes Nithorian. Yay, Ithorians! Either say my Thorin I saved. I hope you are. So there's debris and obstacles all over the place. So watch out for all of that. And dynamic deflector system. So hitting the obstacle won't cause a crash, but it'll shake you up a bit, slow you down. So, okay. Stay out of the way of like, you know trash that's on the course absolutely fine and then accelerator panels okay so zippers from diddy kong racing got it go for zippers don't hit trash gotcha change gears if the engine gets hot so okay it's a manual okay so hang on change gears um like what's the what's the button for changing gears because i don't know what that is all right here we go just me together with oh You've got names. Hello, are you important? So watch yourself out there. Every year we lose a couple of first timers. Okay, so... Yeah, I feel like there's definitely sabotage. They want me to fail. Potentially, Bredgick would benefit from me exploding to remove witnesses. Nobody wants me to be alive here. Got it. Oh, but here's exciting. Hang on. Bastila! Hello! How are you getting on? And... Okay, she either can't talk or isn't allowed to. And as is traditional for Star Wars, uh, they've kind of put her in some slightly sexy gear. Well, she's a captive Princess Leia style, so that's a bit of a shame. Right, can I chat to you about, like, you know, how she's doing, by the way? No one's allowed to talk to the prisoner. Okay, she's got... Ah! Neural Disruptor Collar. Right, well, that explain why she hasn't just, you know, broken her way out using the Force. She's been somehow, you know, uh, neutralised. Gotcha. Okay, let's let's make this happen. Basler, me and you momentarily. It's going to be fine. Okay, what's the time to beat? 38 seconds. Okay, good, but not the best I've ever seen. And yeah, you go out by yourself. So, yeah, you mentioned someone died, by the way. So, hit some debris. Got it. Deflectors kept him from crashing, but the force of the impact jarred him from the swoop. Okay, he fell and died. Everything's fine. It's all under control. Okay, so, um, left click the mouse to accelerate and shift gears uh, and then just move. Uh, okay, so I just go side to side uh, with A and D and then left click to uh, accelerate and uh, shift gears. You mean hold left click to... Oh, this could have been better explained. Yes, go. Okay. Yeah, and now is that is that debris or is that... That's, that, that's debris. Okay, go, go, and then... Okay, so I just need to hold and then tap. Once we get high enough up, okay, and then go to go up to the next thing. Okay, so just start memorizing the track here. This doesn't seem too bad uh, so far. Where are these zippers, by the way? Is that a zipper? Was that a zipper? Oh, hang on. Are they, are they these things? Oh, those are these things. Okay, I see. Sorry, I was avoiding them. 
Okay, I see what we're what we're doing here. Uh, so this is all fine. And then, did I just win by eight seconds on my first go by accident? Okay, um, that was easier than I was expecting. Oh, but hang on, I think there might be a twist. Look at the board. Okay, one of the Becks just... Okay, we should go and murder her. All right, I've murdered the rest of the Becks. I'm surprised she hasn't tried to murder me. Okay, we just need to show them how it's done. What's the new time, by the way? Oh, maybe I should have gone slower. I might have just made my life much harder. So the best time so far inside my own face for a second here is... Uh, okay, about 30 seconds. Okay, let's get out there. But this time, yeah, if it's got, like, little little things on the outside, like over on the... Uh, over on the left there. Go over here. So get over here. This is a good thing I want to be hitting. And then go up to the next gear. And then maybe don't get all of them necessarily. And then go over to here. Over to here. Over to here. Over to here. Go up to the next gear. There's a few things to, to keep your eye on here. And then go over to here. Over to here. Over to here. And then go up to the next gear. And then avoid, 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 avoid. And 24 seconds. Okay, much better. All right, try again. Let's see if that's good enough. Once again, I've just broken the track record by six bloody seconds. No one's going to be that time. I bet someone is. Someone bloody is. So, go and click the prize. No, we got it. Everyone cheers, despite the fact the mass murderer who just killed all the hidden backs won. But, whatever, it's... Ooh, it's Brejic. I, Brejic, leader of the Black Volkers. I'm honored to award the victory prize to one of my own. Once again, proving the Volkers are the premier gang of Taurus. Well done. Through your skill and courage, you have proven yourself the premier swoop rider and brought great glory to the Black Volkers. That's why it is with the greatest sadness that I have to inform you of a slight change in the prize I am offering for your victory. Ooh, okay. We might need to be murdering this guy. Are you trying to cheat me, Brejic? When you hear what I have to say, you'll understand. It seems the woman I offered up as a prize is more than just a Republic officer. She's actually a Jedi. I've had to equip her with a neural disruptor collar to keep her mind in a state of unfocused confusion, just to make sure she doesn't use her force powers to escape. Obviously, I can't turn her over to you. It would be far too dangerous to have a Jedi as a slave. But rest assured, I'll find some other way to compensate you for your victory. You can't do this, Brejic. You know the rules. You can't withdraw a victory prize. Those Black Volkers, what a bunch of decks. You old fool. Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. And if I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me. I might have something to say about that, Brezhik. Ooh, okay. The collar is... It's not doing its job particularly well. You were restrained by a neural disruptor. How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezhik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Volkus, to me! Kill this woman! Kill this swoop rider! Kill them all! Okay, so the betrayal has, um, has happened. Uh, it was a bit more dramatic than I was expecting, to be honest. Okay, I feel like I should stay... I'm gonna try and stay behind, uh, behind her. Yes, I just need to stay behind you. Um, as it turns out... Okay, just, just shoot him. Okay, you're dead. Oh, I've been, I've been gassed, uh, which is not good. Cause I've not got many hit points, so that's, that's not great. And then just take him out. Uh, we need to wrap this up like, oh, I need to wrap this up now. Um, just give myself a bit of a med. Uh, yeah, just a quick stim, fast, fast, and then heal myself. I've got plenty of antidote. Uh, sort that out. And... Well, that was embarrassing. Okay, this time, put on the energy shield, please. Uh, just to, you know, get a bit of protection. Take out the little lads. Because at point blank range, I should still be able to do some good work to you. Right, now you're going over there. Good, that'll keep him busy. You've already been killed. Uh, just take out him. Let Basley, you know, do some of the work here. Get right up to him, please. Uh, another round should take care of you. And now you're dead. Uh, Okay, so my shield was... I think my shield's gone, but he's going to turn his attention to, to Basler. And now, now is my time to shine. Because now... Oh, yeah, that's the... Oh, he's, his blade's on fire. That's interesting. Basler, you're planning to help by any chance. And... Just go. Dodge, dodge, dodge. And... Boom. 
double-bladed lightsaber. Right, so I'm guessing you just decided you were going to be having all of that. Okay, so in the end, I've got everybody's loot. So this is a good thing, in a way. And I'll be having the lightsaber too. Right, I'll be having that. If I can I actually, uh, can I set that right now, just out of interest. Boo! It's only for Jedi. So Bredgic has a special thing here. So resist 5-0 versus slashing. Okay, that's pretty good. Then again, do I want that? Because I'd rather have like, you know, hang on, what does this do? So it needs to be used in conjunction with the armband. So I feel like I should actually give that to, yeah, uh, Zolbar. If he's on the front line, that'd be good for him. Ah, but we do have our first set of gloves, so dexterity plus one. Boom. That's going to be good. That's good right there. But then again, that does get my dexterity to 17. So I need another dexterity to get up to 18. So next time I get the option to give myself some dexterity, take it. That's going to be fine. Okay, Basler, I've got your lightsaber. I can get the collar off. And if you'd like some, like, you know, less revealing armor, I've got plenty of spares there as well. Well, maybe those bloody Vulcas will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize, wait, I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Oh, don't play coy with me. Caden specifically said you requested that I be on the ship. I know you know more about me than you're flipping saying, so... Uh, Yes, this was the only way I could save you. Though, to be honest, I own you now. Might be a dangerous thing to say to a Jedi. Maybe I'll just, you know, tell her the truth for the time being. I was trying to save you, but it was kind of because I figured you might be a good party member. Save me? Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezhik and his Vulcas would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. Okay, um, fun fact by the way. As the only surviving Volker, I'm now kind of the king of the Volkers, so... Okay, got a new gang, that's gonna be lovely. So, uh, yes indeed, like, if you could have escaped at any point, um, why didn't you, Captain Snooty? Because, uh, yeah, you've been here for, like, days, weeks, whatever. I may have been a prisoner, but a Jedi is never helpless. Maybe you've heard of a little thing called the Force? But I suppose I shouldn't be too hard on you. You did try to save me, after all, even if it didn't go quite as planned. So let's get down to business. We're not out of danger yet. If I'm going to figure out a way for us to get off this planet, I need to know what kind of resources we can draw on. First, are we the only two survivors left from the End of Spire? Okay, I like the accent. The accent's fine for me. I'm not so keen on the attitude, all right? Less of the attitude, please. And, uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Caden Alenko is fine, too. Karth Nasi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. You cannot win, Revan. Alright, same flashback again, but in a bit more detail now. Bastila, you're alive! Finally things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? Okay, um, actually, I have a plan. Davik has the fastest ship. We just need to get the codes, and I know they're in the Sith base. All right, I've been paying attention. And Joe, I'm going to be honest, Bastler. Less of the attitude, please. We've been the one rescuing you. It's been a bit tricky, all right? My attitude? 
It strikes me that you are the one in sore need of an attitude adjustment. I happen to be in charge of this mission, if you'll recall. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. Okay, Karth's on my side. I approve of that. That's pretty darn nice. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be honest, he's right. You're being a bit of a dick right now, Bastila. You know, I had my doubts about this mission, but I figured the Jedi Council wouldn't put you in charge if you weren't prepared. But here you are, acting like a spoiled child. I see. It's true that I don't have much military experience. Perhaps I should not be so quick to judge. Very well, Karth. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. Okay, um, once again, one, I'm in charge, and two, I've got a plan. Ship, Davik, like every shopkeeper on this damn planet knows about it. Been told about it three or four times. It's fine. Yes, the vision. We need to, um, be discussing the vision, because I saw you and your Jedi Strike team taking out Revan, which Caden told me about, but like, you know, by the way, I'm, I'm also a Jedi, Force-sensitive, Force-wibbles, etc. It may be that you have some connection to the Force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own Force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the Force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. Okay, this is all very exciting. So, if you could just hand me the lightsaber now, that'd be great. The Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. Okay, brand new team here, and Bastila. That's where Trask lived. How flipping dare you? So, okay, we're going to be adding you, and we're going to be bringing along the Wookiee. So, two frontliners, one a bit more about pure damage, you presumably a bit more about, you know, finesse, and me, the scoundrel, getting around the rear, shooting people in the back. It's going to be great. Oh, and we barely even stepped outside when you're the rider who won the swoop race. Yes, yes I am, but I'm going to be honest, there probably won't be too many more of them. A lot of people died. I have a message from Candorous Ordo. Meet him in the cantina. Okay, we've got a lead. And he works for Davik, who's got the ship. Okay, if he wants to, you know, jump ship, join me, he's going to know how to access the estate. Good, 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 good. This is marvellous. So right now she's just wearing basic clothing. So that doesn't actually help much at all. And she can't... She can't wear light armour. Well, okay, this isn't a good start. Would you like your lightsaber back, by the way? There we go. Much better. Sorry about that. Should have given that to you already. And she also can't wear... Right, Jedi are apparently a bit um, on the fussy side when it comes to all sorts of uh, bits and pieces. You can have an energy shield, though. That's all absolutely fine. But yeah, you can't really wear anything else. Like, at all. That reminds me, by the way, uh, the Wookiee. You can have uh, Bredgic's armband, so you are resistant to being, you know, attacked by melee stuff. So, there you go. Bregic's belt, Bregic's armband. So now, presumably, you can stand in combat a lot more effectively. And she's got defense of... Uh, okay, her defense, however, is going to be higher. Though she's going to need it, because she's got, like, no hit points. Okay, we're going to need to figure out how to use Bastila. Because uh, she seems very bloody flimsy. And right now she's... Oh, she's level 3. Okay, I see the problem here. So she is uh, not that smart. Very charismatic. Very uh, dexterous. Okay, so Jedi don't have to be all about the strength. They can be, you know, dexterity as well. But to be honest, I'm a bit disappointed by that uh, that intelligence. I was kind of hoping you might be able to uh, fill in some of the gaps. So, uh, two-weapon fighting. So, uh, 
Okay, double-bladed weapons or two weapons. Uh, she's got flurry. She can use a blaster pistol if need be, uh, but she's better with, yeah, lightsabers uh, and whatnot. Jedi defense. So, okay, she's got like, ooh, she's got powers. Ooh, powers. So when she activates this thing, like a force aura thing, then she gains plus two to defense and all saving throws. Uh, stun. Ooh, now we're getting somewhere. So she stuns people, and then I start sneak attacking them. Oh yeah. Oh flippin' yeah. Though, uh, successful fortitude save by the character at DC of uh, 5 plus attacking characters level. Okay, so uh, yeah, right now that's almost never gonna work. Because she's level 3, DC of 5, plus 3, plus wisdom, plus charisma. Presumably you've got some wisdom, right? Okay, plus 1, and then plus 2. The modifier's not the number. So that's plus another 3. Well, once we level you up a bit, that should be that should be a okay. Anything else, by the way, she's got force push, so at that point she can push someone back and stun them for three seconds. Okay, so some powers are stun. I've been wondering how you stun. It's force powers. Now this is nice. This is very very nice indeed. You can also toss her lightsaber. So throw it. It comes back. Okay, so we need to get her to be using stun and force push. That's what we need her to be doing, got it. Well, let's level her up and see what happens. So, yes, here we go. Attributes. Let's see what we need to be moving up in the right direction here. If we need her to be using, like, you know, force powers, which I want her to be doing, she's going to be needing some uh, some wisdom. Yeah, let's get wisdom moving in the right direction. That's all A-OK. -okay. Skills as well. Well, she gets two points per level, and most of these things are costing her two. Okay, the only thing she can really do is get good at treating herself. Right, so she's useless as a skill user, got it. Still, she also gets powers. Okay, so what can she do and not do? So, uh, right, there's, oh, there's 10 million, she's got 10 million bloody powers. Okay, she's got, oh, there's a lot, there's a lot of powers. Um, okay, including evil ones like shock and whatnot. No, that's my job. My job is to electrocute people. Alright, force lightning, that's what we want here. Where's that stun? Can we just increase the stun? No, she needs to be level 9 for that. Okay, so plenty of stuff we can't do because of uh, level restrictions. Uh, she seems to be a light side Jedi, so that means she's going to be like better or cast for cheaper. That sort of business. Okay, so uh, if she'd like to do some healing, that seems pretty... Oh, she can't do that because of... Oh, bloody hell, what can she do then? Okay, Force Valor. So she could, like, support the entire party by, like, you know, increasing physical attributes and saving throws of all Jedi by two for 20 seconds. So that'll make her very good at, you know, helping out with the front line. So go on, why not? She can have that. But yes, we've got several level ups to do. Right, as her defense is so low, let's get her a burst of speed two. So plus two defense, speed is doubled. Ooh, she's also gaining stuff for free. So just like I gained Sneak Attack, she's gaining Night Sense and Force Immunity to stun. So she can't be stunned, okay. Oh, it's basically my Scoundrel's Luck. So she's just gained uh, plus four defense. And the way they handle, yeah, the fact Jedi can bounce back lasers and block lasers is through Jedi defense. So if you try and shoot the Jedi, when you do an attack roll, the Jedi does an attack roll too. So... If they win that roll contest, then they get to block. And if they win by 10 or more, the bolt is deflected back. So uh, what does that actually uh, help? So plus three bonus to all blaster bolt deflection rolls. Okay, so that's certainly an option. Or if she likes using, like, you know, the double lightsaber, may as well move her to improve 200 fighting too. Yeah, that seems like a good idea, sure. And as you really just can't upgrade anything, yeah, let's make her be able to heal. That seems like a good sort of, you know, light side thing for her to do. Then we don't depend on, uh, yeah, the old stims anymore. Plus, she can heal everybody. That's got to be useful. And she can have stun droids too, just in case some really tough robots show up. Just as, you know, an emergency. Okay, she's finally bloody done leveling up. Great, meaning she's now got uh, way more... Ooh, she's got a force meter. Right, like mana. And she's going to have presumably more in the way of... Uh, oh yeah, way more health. Okay, good. It's definitely good we did that. Okay, this is fine. Everything's under control. We know what we need to do uh, with you. Just keep repair, moving in the right direction, please. 
And to be honest, actually, your repair's okay. Yeah, get your demolition moving in the right direction. You are going to be my repair and demolition specialist, damn it, because uh, you're actually pretty good at that. So uh, all we need is somebody else to do computers, because right now we're terrible at computers. But I can cover stealth, and uh, we're already a bit on the awareness side, which is a bit of a shame. I can do security. Maybe Bastila needs to go on like a computer course to learn how computers work. And yes, as his power attack is so damn good but makes it a bit harder to actually hit the enemy, let's just get your dueling up to level 2. Because you're almost ready to take that up to Master as well. So add that feat. Lovely. So that is, oh, that's some sexy stuff right there. Alright, so here we go. Brand new team. Bang Blitzman, Bastler, and the Wookiee. It's going to be... Oh, it's going to be magnificent. Now I've got two frontliners, uh, and while the Wookiee's roaring, pulling limbs out of sockets, I just run around the back and do ridiculous burst damage uh, by sneak attacking them uh, three times in a row in the back with rapid shot with two guns. Oh, it's going to be... It's going to be beautiful. So, okay, join us next time, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are going to be heading over to the bar, meeting up with Candorus, who I'm guessing is looking to maybe uh, jump ship. So, hopefully, you join us for that as we are going to get to see a Jedi in action for the very flipping first time. Hopefully, you're looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Knights of the Old Republic. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Wait, wait, and flamethrower! 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 Okay, so this is... This is definitely morally questionable. The point where you start singing the flamethrower song, potentially you've gone over the line.